in this series of tutorials, we're going to be looking at Pandas. It's a Python software for doing data analysis. It allows you to do things like um, uh, create uh, data frames, which are like um, SAS data sets and, uh, and the R data frame. It was initially developed by Wes McKinney, and here is his book, Python for Data Analysis. So I'm going to be using Pandas to read in this Excel spreadsheet. Uh, this is uh, Labour Force Statistics Australia, catalogue number 6202.0, and it is published by the Australian Bureau of Statistics. So here we've got the data item description. So the first one there is employed total persons, and we've got series uh, type, and the uh, first one is a trend uh, adjusted uh, time series, seasonally adjusted and original. And uh, it starts from February 1978 to November 2016. We've got a units uh, measure, so this uh, employment is in thousands. And we have also have percentage, so for example, the unemployment rate. Then we have the data type. So stock means it's a point in time uh, quantity, which uh, employment is. Uh, so something like um, gross earnings, uh, for example, would be a flow variable. And uh, the frequency of this uh, time series is monthly. So that's in sheet number zero, if we use the Python conventions of where things start. And then uh, sheet one is where the actual data is located. Uh, and we can see the first column is uh, the uh, actual uh, uh, time. And then uh, the data item description uh, spans uh, rows 1 to 10. And so here we have um, employed uh, total persons as the first uh, column, as it was in the index. And it's quite messy, as we can see. We've got semicolons, and we even got angle brackets. So we're going to be fixing that up in, uh, in Python to make it a lot neater. Also, um, as we can see, the data starts in row 11. So we need to ensure that um, we start in row 11 to get the actual data. To read the uh, spreadsheet in, I'm going to be using Python 3.5. Apparently, the latest version is 3.6, but 3.5 should suffice. Also, I'm running this using the Spider Editor, which offers uh, some quite neat features when working with Python. And another thing to note is I'm using the Ubuntu operating system 16.04 LTS. So to use Pandas, we need to import the Pandas library. And here I'm importing it as a PD for short. To read in the labor force data, we need to uh, use the uh, read underscore Excel um, module of pandas. So here uh, I've got labor for uh, labor underscore four equals pd dot read and underscore excel uh, open brackets and then I've got the path name to where the file was located. And now the sheet name is equal to one because the data uh, is in uh, sheet one. So we go back to the spreadsheet index with sheet zero uh, data 1 is sheet 1 and inquiries is sheet 2. So we definitely want uh, sheet 1, which has the data in it. And uh, then we say header equals none. Because we are going to do something with the, that uh, d data descriptions, because we don't want to use what's there on the spreadsheet. So if we go back to the spreadsheet, uh, we've got semicolons and all sorts of characters in there, so we want to do something about stripping that out. Okay, now I'm going to run this program and see if it works. So I hit the uh, run button here, run file, F5 is the shortcut key for that. So I run and I can see here that uh, there, uh, there is no errors uh, being reported in the console. So we can go to Variable Explorer and we'll double click on labor force and we see that we have our data frame and uh, we can see that the 
data item uh, descriptors uh, a bit of a mess so we're going to turn that into into valid variable names now what are valid variable names well valid variable names cannot have any other characters except for underscores letters and numbers and uh, a valid variable name can't start with a number and in particular if you're using SAS to do analysis it's limited to 32 characters in length so we're going to be looking at doing some manipulation to create valid variable names so that we can do analysis without any issues.